Finally, the United States will make an image of the Dark Ages. Ha! Ah, you see that? So all the way, <clears throat> the nations have taken advantage, especially during the Dark Ages and during the Reformation, bringing about the Protestant nations, as we were talking about when it spread through Germany and England championing, <clears throat> we know that the French Revolution and the French general was sanctioned by the Protestant nations brought down the papal power. But that tyranny will be <clears throat> replicated that tyranny will be replicated. When we talk about the mark of the beast and the son the law, <clears throat> this is the crux of it. But brothers and sisters, I dare tell you that God will have to work through this church to bring about the loud cry, to bring about the other side to bring about his church to do the last evangelistic work we call them the army of God in the midst of the armies of man I pray this morning that as we look at these deep portion of the Word of God that it will bring to our attention the fact that God has his attention on everything that is happening and so it behoves us to take charge of what the Lord has given us to do has called us at this time to carry on the reformation and to understand that he has a people he has entrusted his truth with his church and we have to we have to be responsible for that May God bless all of us and may we take up our work wherever we stand. The Lord is calling on us today to be faithful. As I said, it will get worse before it gets better. So all I can tell you is to brace yourself brace yourself brace yourselves with the word of God <clears throat> it's not his intention for you to know everything or know what big Tom Harry Mary Jane or Sue know he wants you to know what you have been given and to be faithful and to be sincere in your conviction if you are convicted on a truth of the word of God don't play upscotch with it don't play church with it whatever portion of God's truth that you are convicted on this morning. I implore you, I encourage you to take responsibility for that conviction because 
everyone has a part to play in the final drama of this earth history. It's not all about what we hear or what we watch on the news. It's about what's coming our way. And so may God help us to be responsible. Pray without ceasing. And champion the word of God. Champion the word of God. Do your little part. Shine your light. It is a time <clears throat> that we are called upon at such a time as this. How about that? God bless you and may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the full fellowship and the communion of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, rest, remain and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you until we come again. <clears throat> we'll continue the state of our union as we look at the world, the war zone world. Happy Sabbath.